Okay, uh, we'll discuss the definition of SI unit of charge, right? In the Coulomb's law, its mathematical form, we have discussed the magnitude of the electric force between two point static charges in case they are placed in air or vacuum is given by 1 over 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square. It may also be written as in case of vacuum, it would be the value of k. We are aware it is 9 into 10 is to 9 into q1 q2 by r square. So we will be making use of this particular mathematical expression so as to define SI unit of charge. So what we do is let q1 equals to q2 is equal to q say both the charges are of equal magnitude. Let the two charges of equal magnitude be separated by distance of 1 meter. We are talking about SI system so distance between them is 1 meter in air or vacuum and let the force experienced between them is 9 into 10 to the 9 Newton. Then substitute all these values over here. So what do you get is in place of air vacuum substitute this value. Q1 is Q, Q2 is also Q. So we get Q square divided by RH is equal 1. So it will be 1 square. So if you solve Q square would be equal to 1 or Q would be equal to plus minus 1. Now let's try to uh, make use of our own wordings by using this expression so as to define one cooler. Before we discuss the definition, one thing to be noted is that if you are considering similar and like charges, then the nature of the force would be repulsive. If we are considering equal and opposite charges, then the nature of the force would be repulsive, uh, attractive. So concentrate on the definition first. 1 coulomb, I am talking about SI, this is the actual definition of uh, coulomb. 1 coulomb may be defined as that charge which when placed at a distance of 1 meter in air or vacuum from another equal and similar charge experiences a repulsive force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton or exert upon each other a repulsive force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton. Uh, what I have considered is, I have considered equal and similar charge. So I mentioned the nature of the charge to be repulsive. If I consider equal and opposite charge, then the nature of the force would be obviously attractive. So let's consider that definition as well. One coulomb may be defined as that charge which when placed at a distance of 1 meter in air or vacuum from another equal and opposite charge exert upon each other an attractive force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton. So this is the definition of 1 coulomb. It is the SI unit of charge. Now in the CGS system also uh, let's discuss the unit of charge in CGS system. CGS further can be categorized into two types. One is electrostatic unit and the other one is electromagnetic unit. One is electrostatic unit, the other one is electromagnetic unit. The CGS electrostatic unit of charge is stat coulomb, represented by stat coulomb, capital letter C. Or it's a unit which is named after the scientist Coulomb. The CGS electromagnetic unit of charge is Ab Coulomb. Ab Coulomb. And the relationship between SI and CGS unit is 1 Coulomb is 3 into 10 raised to the power 9 stat Coulomb. 1 Coulomb is 3 into 10 raised to the power 9 stat Coulomb. While on the other hand, relation between the SI and the CGS electromagnetic unit of charges, 1 coulomb is 1 by 10 amp coulomb. Now, why we are discussing this is because 
uh, we need to verify that the value of k in CGS is unity. Now, the value of k as you are aware, it is 1 over 4 pi epsilon and its value in vacuum in SI is 9 into 10 to 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square in SI. Now let determine the value of K when the charges are placed in vacuum in CGS. So 9 into 10 to 9 1 newton you are aware it is 10 to 5 time 1 meter square it is 10 to 4 centimeter square coulomb square 1 coulomb is 3 into 10 to 9 stat coulomb so 1 coulomb square would be 3 into 10 to 9 stat coulomb square right so if you solve it let's check it out 9 into 10 to 9 10 to 5 into 10 to 4 basing so the exponent powers will get added up divided by this will be square right so it will be 9 into 10 to 18 and unit would be 9 centimeter square divided by stat coulomb square now solve it 9 into 10 to 18 divided by 9 into 10 to 1 it will be 1 So this is a mathematical verification basically. So SI unit of charge is coulomb while the CGS unit of charge is stat coulomb. The relation is 1 coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 to 9 stat coulomb. And the value of K as we have discussed earlier also it's very very important. It depends on two factors. It depends on the system of the units so chosen. In case of SI will measure the distance between the two charges in meters, will measure uh, the force in newton, will measure the charge in coulomb. In such a scenario, the value of k is found to be 9 into 10 to 9, newton meter square per coulomb square. In case, charges measured in stat coulomb, distance between them is uh, measured in centimeter, force between those two charges is measured in times, then the value of k in CGS is considered to be unity that is 1 that is what we have proved over here